हे ऑल वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास का आई साम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर रिसेंटली वी एडेड वन प्ले लिस्ट बेस्ड ऑन एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव कोर्स एंड इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एडेड अप टू टेन डिफरेंट क्लासेस और टेन डिफरेंट वीडियोज दोज वीडियोज कैन हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द बेस ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव मेलिंग सर्विसेज राइट एज वी डिस्कस बिफोर इन दिस सीरीज आई गिव यू द कम्प्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव लाइक एज ए माइग्रेशन about the group user hybrid setup how we can manage our on premises exchange services so in the entire playlist you will find up to more than 50 videos and definitely these videos are really helpful to manage our day to day activity over a microsoft 365 portal in previous class uh, we discussed about uh, how to identify the options or services which are available on exchange admin center right in day 1 we discussed about uh, over microsoft 365 three or four different uh, uh, admin centers are available each and every admin center are responsible to perform their own task so now i'm going to give you some practical information about uh, exchange admin center and in this class will help you the base of groups right over a microsoft 365 we are able to create multiple groups so i'll give you the complete details about different types of groups that are uh, available on our microsoft 365 portal so let's proceed with practical but before that you should know about the concept means how many types of groups are available and the work of these groups right so let me help you to understand but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step okay so this is our whiteboard or blackboard you can consider it and uh, our responsibility to know about the concept of microsoft 365 group right as for the name suggest if we talk about only group right forget about microsoft 365 so the meaning of group because the group is available in uh, our local uh, client operating system if you open the uh, computer management it, it will give you option of to create user and group the work of group you can put multiple users you want to apply any permission you want to apply any policy you just need to apply over a group no need to assign policy to each and every user separately you want to apply or configure policy for 20 different users so you need to put the entire 20 user in the in, in in the group and apply the policy or permission to the group and it will be automatically applicable for the entire 20 users as it is over a microsoft 365 portal we will find uh, up to four different types of group and these groups are really important to manage the mailing services of our employees right so what you need to do to understand about microsoft 365 portal you need to open exchange admin center right we have already discussed about how we can how we can open the exchange admin center once you open the exchange admin center it will provide you option of groups right four different types of groups are available in our microsoft 365 like these groups are i'm going to start from the very basic Microsoft 365 group. This is group one, and uh, second one is distribution list. Okay, distribution list is also a type of group, and number third you can consider as the mail enabled security, right? Sorry, mail enabled security. it's also type of group mail enable security and the final group you will find with name of uh, dynamic distribution list right dynamic distribution list okay as a 365 engineer it's our responsibility we should know about the usage of each and every groups that we have because we are responsible to take care of the mailing services of our client of any organization so it's mandatory for us we must need to know the, about the concept of this group so for better understanding i'm going to move ourselves to over a microsoft 365 portal and try to open exchange admin center and give you the proper practical how we can create these types of group and also we'll discuss about the usage 
Okay, now we are on page of a Microsoft 365 portal. Let me click on the dots, click on the admin and it will redirect you on the page of uh, Microsoft 365 admin center. But we are on page of uh, exchange admin center. So I'm going to open the exchange admin center. Right, this is the panel of exchange admin center and uh, in the recipient, in the recipient, we are able to find one option group. We just need to click on the recipient, sorry, mailboxes. Under the mailboxes, we, we need to click on the groups. It will redirect you on the page. This is all groups are already available like demo site. I have already created Teach Me Cloud, all company. This is the built-in group, right? So, but I don't want to proceed with the existing group that we have. I'm going to create my new group. So just need to click here. And uh, yeah, give me one minute. Microsoft 365, Microsoft uh, distribution list, dynamic distribution list and mail enable security. Three different options are available. You can directly pick any of group that you want to create. Or uh, you want to proceed with the one by one. So you just need to click on add a group, Microsoft 365, which is recommended. As per the name suggests, it's a just a common group, right? Why we need to use it? Think about, uh, you want to create a group for a particular department think about like you want to create a group for the HR department only. You want to create a group for the local IT only, right? So whenever we create a group like uh, with name of local IT, think about it. I'm going to create a group, Microsoft 365 group. It's a, just an example. Microsoft 365 group, right? So actually the usage of Microsoft 365 group, you can create it for a particular department. Like I'm going to create a group for the local IT. The local IT who responsible to take care of the infrastructure of particular organization. And in the local IT, I'm going to add multiple members, the members who responsible to take care of the hardware and network related issues. AWS is a type of user, GCP is a type of user, Telnet is also a type of user and one more user that I wanted to add with name of Tata. Okay, so you created a one group, Microsoft 365 group with name of local IT and added four different members in the local IT. Now question, why we need to do that? What is use of Microsoft 365 group? So in this case, once you create the group for the Microsoft 365, they all are able to share our conversation between each other. They can share the teams. They can share the calendar, right? They can perform the conversation task. Right, the entire members of this particular group, they are able to perform and share the uh, uh, documents, our teams, our calendar between each other. How we can do that? See, allow teams to collaborate by giving them the group. It's self-explained, so you can just uh, verify the outlook are called groups. Basically, conversation, files, and calendar. The second important point, the second important group that we have, which is related to the distribution. So as per the name suggests, the meaning of distribution list, you can consider it as a uh, kind of broadcast, right? The best example of DL, the best example of distribution list, for example, you know that we are getting an email related to any occasion or we are getting the email from HR at the rate xyz.com. So basically the HR at maybe abc.com right so abc is our organization name and hr is a particular department so whenever we receive the email through the hr which is applicable for the all the employees which are available in the organization right so it is used for the broadcasting if you want to broadcast the message to our email to each and every one uh, which are working with the company so you just need to create a dl and under the dl you need to add the email address of entire employees right so we are getting the email like as a any kind of birthday wishes any kind of occasion or any kind of uh, uh, message that company want to broadcast with everyone so it's really difficult to assign each and every employee's email id to send 
that's why they created a hr at the rate xyz.com dl and under that di- under this particular dl they added the mail id of entire employees correct so dl is work for the basically broadcast the emails number third the another important group which is available in microsoft 365 portal uh, which is mail enabled security so as for the name suggest the sa- this 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 is this group can help you send messages to all members of this group of the group and uh, give access resources like onedrive sharepoint and admin store think about it <coughs> sorry the microsoft 365 group and mail enabled security group the microsoft 365 group can authorize you to share the calendar and files that you have within the group the meaning of mail enabled security by using this particular group we are able to distribute our share the resources like one drive you created one drive with capacity of 52 tb and you want to distribute the access of same one drive to the entire employees of particular group you can do that you can share the documents with the help of uh, sharepoint that you created like in the sharepoint we are able to create libraries we are able to create our own folder we can upload our data from on premises so if you want to share the information about uh, any kind of documents so the mail enabled security can help you the last one is related to the dynamic distribution list as per the name suggests send email to all members of this list uh, the groups members list is uh, updated every 24 hour based on the filters and uh, condition you set right so may dynamic distribution list uh, similarly work like the distribution list but in this case dynamic distribution list it will be automatically update the entire changes uh, entire rules that you configure uh, within 24 hours so this is all about the concept of uh, uh, microsoft 365 group i hope you guys are able to understand about the concept i'll give you the practical of each and every so in next session we'll talk about the procedure how we can configure and create security group and add user and check the result so this is all about uh, today's session guys we'll connect soon in next session and discuss more about microsoft 365 services please do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel Take care guys bye bye